Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Nakus lighted magnifier with a clamp and weighted base. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. Let's get this open. So here are the instructions. So the magnifying lens is 4.3 inches. It has 8x magnification. So that's a higher magnification than a lot of these magnifiers. And it is a glass lens. The light has 10 brightness levels, it's 1500 lumens. It has a metal clamp, it's 2.7 inches, 110 volts. Swing arm is two by 8.9 inches. So you want to long press the button to adjust the brightness, short press to switch between the color modes or to turn on or off. On the back here, it talks about the clamp. It also has a base and I'll go over that. Here's some notes. It says the lamp shell will get hot. To dissipate heat of the lamp, it's normal, and to help keep the product lifetime, use a soft cloth to clean only. And it says do not leave the lens in direct sun as it can cause a fire hazard. So that's an important tip. So let me get the parts out here. First we have the clamp. So this clamp has a nice big beefy plastic knob on it. It has rubber on this back side here, has rubber on the top, and then it has plastic on the clamping pad. So this can clamp to like a tabletop. You can take this off here, this post, and you can put it on here, and you can clamp this to the back of a bench or a table or a desk. So this has two clamping options here. Pull the magnifier out. So here's the magnifier. I'll set that aside. Here is the adapter to connect it to the plate. So it comes with a hex key, cleaning cloth. Here's the power adapter. That's some protective film. I'll remove that. Output on this is 12 volts at one amp. So if you didn't know what this was, you could potentially think you're done. But if you see here, there is a plate underneath. And this is a very heavy plate. So I'll pull that out. And the bottom side of this it has foam on it. It's about eighth inch thick foam. So that's very nice. So I'm going to quickly show this clamp here, but then I'm mostly going to focus on the plate. So I have a bench here so I can open this up. I can clamp this to my bench. Now this post is likely to be loose like mine is. You'll want to rotate that clockwise and then loosen this clamp here and we can stick the lighted magnifier in there and then we can tighten this down. So from here this will rotate different directions and then we can pull the arm out and such. So the rest of the functions are gonna work the same on the plate, so I'm going to switch over to that. So to prep the plate, we need to put this post on it here. So we'll take the hex key and we'll remove this bolt. And I'll put this in the bottom of the plate. And you can tighten the hex key or the post itself. So I'll tighten it probably right about there. Okay, I got it good and tight. So that bolt is right about at the same level as that foam. So if you had a very delicate surface, I'm not sure if that would potentially scratch or not. Now the bolt's pretty smooth for the most part, but it's just something to keep in mind. You could potentially throw a piece of tape over that if you had a really delicate surface. But this plate seems really nice, has really nice, looks like a powder coat finish on it or something. So we'll put the lighted magnifier in it, just like we did with the clamp. Okay, now this is really loose right here. So I'm going to point this down and I can tighten it up like so. We can also tighten here on this back side, and then we can tighten down here. So there's a couple different adjustments there. Next, I'll plug in the power and we have everything set up. So to turn on the light, I'll tap the power button. The light is now on, I'll press it again. That'll switch the color mode. Press it again, it'll turn off. So I will turn this up and hopefully not blind myself too bad. So that's kind of a warm light, that's more of a blue light, and that's more of a white light. So it has three color temperatures. Now to dim this, we'll hold down on it, and it will dim. So it has stepless dimming, and it will dim until it's at its lowest dimness setting. Now if I hold it down again, it will go back up till it's at its brightest setting. So I tend to like the white color, but it depends on what you're doing, what color you might like. So this will rotate like this, and it will rotate like this with this one clamp. So it can often be tricky to show magnifying glasses on camera, but I will attempt here. So I'm going to get the magnifying glass in line with the camera, and then we'll see if I can focus here. So I'm going to bring the camera up closer to my eyes. Okay, so we're looking through the magnifying glass now. So you can see how large the type is. I'll rotate this out of the way. So this is the normal size. This is with the magnifying glass. So I will turn the light all the way down so you can see what that looks like. And I turn off my camera light here. So that's the dimmest setting. If we turn it off completely, that's what it looks like dark. And this can be usable dark, but I think most people will prefer the light. So that's white on full brightness. So this plate has a lot of heft to it. So what you can do is if you have this back somewhere, let's say over here, and I will loosen up these fittings, I can extend this out. Let's see if I have that open enough, okay. 
So I had this sideways and it started tipping sideways like that. So you do want it in line with the plate. But if I put it all the way out like that, let's see what we have here. So it's almost a little tippy, but it does work. Now, if you needed to, you could always weigh that down. And needless to say, it also came with this. So you could clamp it to the side. But you can see the way this plate is weighted, it will hold that. So if you need to extend this out far, you're able to do that. Let me measure how far out that is. I don't know how to measure this. Let's see, from the pivot to the middle of the magnifying glass is around 26 inches. So so if you do need up closer, you can lift up the center portion. So we can move this closer here and this will fold down on itself. And let's see, this is as low as it will go when it's folded up completely. And we're right around four inches there. So you can use this with this plate. You could put your project on that plate or you could have your project around it. So if you want a permanent installation, you can use the clamp. But if you want to be able to take this and say set it somewhere else and then bring it to your bench while you're working or your desk, this is a great option. So a magnifier light like this could be great for soldering, electronics, crafts, model making, sewing, anything with detail work. You could also just use this for reading. If you have bad eyesight, say you're reading a contract or you want to read the fine print, if you're someone who actually does read the fine print, you can pull this out, put what you're reading down down here, read the fine print. It's nice that this is completely hands-free, so you don't have to hold it. You can put it in the position you want, turn that light on, and you can have great magnification. As I get older, I find it harder and harder to see things, so I really like using lighted magnifiers. And it's also nice if you're working on something with someone else, you can put this in position, and you can both look into this. You might need to move out of the way, so only one can see through it at a time. So that's the Nakus lighted magnifier arm with clamp or plate base. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.